Yeah, 6.51 is the time now. So let's talk about uh, house prices and what effect Brexit may or may not be having. Ben's got some uh, details for us now. Morning, Ben. Morning to you both. Thanks very much, Ed. Morning to you too. Uh, yeah, we're talking about the impact because it's just four weeks ago that we voted to leave the European Union. Since then, there's been... A lot of predictions, haven't there, about what Brexit could actually mean for our economy, our finances, and, of course, that popular subject, house prices. Well, this morning, HomeTrack says prices are starting to stabilise after years of record growth. But yesterday, well, figures from the Council of Mortgage Lenders, uh, they reported that the highest lending figures they'd seen in eight years. Uh, Ricks and Rightmove, they've also made different assessments of the market. So the big question... Who's right? What is actually happening out there? Well, Kate Faulkner is with me. She's property analyst and runs propertychecklist.co.uk. Kate, good morning. Good morning. So, four weeks ago, yep. since the Brexit vote, seems a lot longer, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. Um, <laughs> but it's still too early to say, isn't it? Because it strikes me all these different surveys are looking at different time periods. That's, the, that's exactly right. So, you've got, when you buy and sell a house, you're buying and selling a house in about three to a six month time period. And if you put, you put your property on the market for, say, £200,000, £200, I might offer 180 for it. Um, that's one measure of the price early in the process. Then a surveyor might come in and he might say, oh, it's only worth 190 So the price, so they see a different price set. And then we might settle on 185 So there are lots. So we kind of get obsessed with one price for a property. And actually, there's quite a few as we go through. And each of the reports measure the, um, different things. Some measure the UK, some measure England and Wales. Some are just mortgage sales. Some are cash sales as well, which is quite a big part of our, our property market now. So I think really for me, it's, it's, the reports are interesting. But when it comes down to you and I having a home and buying and selling, what it's more about is prices go up, they go down, stay the same. What do you do in those circumstances and understand what's happening in your personal property market? Really. Yeah, and that's the thing, isn't it? Because it's only really going to affect you if you're in a position where you're about to buy or you're about to sell or both. Yes, absolutely. And I think for, so we might have a little temporary blip now because we know we, we know that when you get a little bit of a shock to the system like we've had now, people are going to go, I'm going to hang on. And if everybody turns around and says, oh, prices are going to fall, well, they're definitely going to hang on. So then you end up with a bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy to some extent. So and what we have found, which I think is the most interesting, is that when I see the reports and I read every single one, we write about every single, you know, all of them and what they all mean. But actually, you can, I can find roads where prices are going up, down and staying the same. All within the same street? Yeah, absolutely. And it might be a four bed detached, five bed detached are doing well. It might be starter homes are doing badly. It might be flats. There are just too many of them. So it's, we're seeing very individual supply and demand. And as a result, very individual results right at sort of at street level. So top tip, if you're about to buy or sell now, what should you do? So the first thing to do is love your agent. So you must go in and you must sort of take away the fears and worries about agents. Go and talk to them and find out about what they think is happening in the market. What I do is we've got all these sold property prices. Go and have a look at those. They're free online so you know what is sold similar to the property that you've got and then look at what they're being marketed for now. Is there a big difference? Are they going up? Are they going down? Take that data into the agent so you have a bit of an idea of what's going on and then you know whether they're being accurate or not. Good stuff, Kate. Thanks so much. Love your agent there. That's a task for you <laughs> on a Friday morning. Uh, that's all from us till after 7. I'll see you later. Oh, thanks, Ben. <laughs> thanks a lot. See you later.